Hi guys, how are you? Today I am going to discuss another question from year 2015. So the major product formed in the following reaction that is this is the substrate which is treated with NBS H2O and then K2CO3 and then BF3 ether diethyl ether what will be the product so NBS H2O NBS H2O the reagent NBS is n bromosaccinamide NBS H2O reacts in two condition one is NBS in photochemical condition and another is NBS in presence of H2O NBS in H2O that means photochemical condition it will brominate at allylic position so allylic bromination will take place and the mechanism is free radical mechanism so if it is uh, if it is nbs h new then the product will be bromine at this position bromine at this position but as it is h2o so the reaction will proceeds uh, with a different mechanism that is first a bromonium ion intermediate will be formed and after that the h2o will open up the ring and and halohydrin will be formed so we'll discuss the mechanism so first a bromonium ion intermediate will be formed if it is treated with nbs in bromosaccinamide this is n bromosaccinamide so this double bond will attack at a bromine and the lone pair at bromine will attack at this carbon and a cyclic intermediate will be formed cyclic bromonium ion intermediate will be formed let's say it is above the plane beer and it will be plus plus minus now in presence of h2o this ring will be opened up bromonium ion intermediate will be opened up so h2o will attack from below the plane and corresponding halohydrin will be formed that means the br will be above the plane and oh will be below the plane now it is treated with k2co3 if it is treated with k2co3 k2co3 the water solution of k2co3 is a basic solution so it will abstract this proton and it will be o minus so it will be o minus now this o minus oxide will attack at this carbon and the br will eliminate and an epoxide ring will be formed so the epoxide ring will be from below the plane so it will be this now if it is treated with bf3 in ether bf3 is a lewis acid it is a reaction of uh, epoxide ring cleavage in presence of a lewis acid so the oxygen will attack at bromine this will o bf3 this will be minus plus now internal polarization will take place and one of the bond will be clipped as here if this bond is broken then the carbocation will be formed here and if this bond is broken the carbocation will be formed at this carbon and both this carbocation will have same stability so here is an, here there is no problem of regioselectivity 
and we can open any of this bond so if we open this bond then the product will be in this carbon which will be OBF3 minus and here will be the carbocation and here a rearrangement will take place and here this bond or this bond these two bond can migrate at this carbon to neutralize this charge let's say this is a migration a migration if a migration take place then this bond will migrate at this carbon and it is it will be a five member ring from a six member ring and it will be same as five member ring and it will be a keto group so here is a keto group and here another five member ring will be formed if a migration take place and if b migration take place that is if this bond migrate at this carbon then the product will be it will be a four member ring and it will be as usual a six member ring and the keto will be at the alpha carbon of this spiro center that means the product will be this these two are spiro compound and as it is a four member ring so this is four member six member is quite unstable then five member five member so this product will be formed as a major product in this context we will discuss another question if uh, this substrate is treated with first nbs and then second 30 percent aqueous naoh and then me2 culi the product to be is formed this question came in june 2016 csa net exam so what will be the product the reaction will go same as usual we draw the first reaction so first nbs in presence of uh, first nbs will produce and bromonium ion intermediate as here the tertiary butyl group is above the plane so bromonium ion intermediate will formed from below the plane so sorry plus this will be formed and after that when aqueous NaOH first NBS the bromonium ion intermediate will be formed now aqueous NaOH OH minus will attack from above the plane to open up the reaction uh, re, uh, the bromonium ion intermediate so OH minus it will attack at this carbon it may be attack also at this carbon so the OH will be above the plane and the BR will be below the plane tertiary butyl group is above the plane in presence of OH minus it will abstract at this proton and it will be an oxide so it will be O minus from above the plane and the BR will be below the plane tertiary butyl group will be above the plane now this O minus will attack at this carbon and an epoxide ring will be formed above the plane so the product will be an epoxide ring will be formed from above the plane and the tertiary butyl group will also remain in above the plane now if it is treated with Me2CuLi Me2CuLi this is an organometallic reagent so Me- minus will attack from below the plane to open up this epoxide ring so the product will be this will be OH and this will be methyl and 
tertiary butyl group will be of the plane so this will be the product here the this uh, compound that is cyclopentene cyclopentene will have shape like this now the tertiary butyl group this group is at this position so the br minus uh, the, the nbs will attack only from below the plane and due to this the bromonium and intermediate will formed from below the plane so the next question the number of possible stereoisomers obtained in the following reaction so this is a phenanthrene derivative which is first ozonalized and then treated with excess phmgbr so on ozonalysis what will be formed this bond will cleave and it will be convert CHO group so the product will be here will be a CHO as well as CHO and this will be CH3 now why ozonalysis take place only in this double bond because here the loss of resonance energy will be minimum if only this double bond will oxidized because the resonance energy of this two binding will be intact now if it is treated with excess phmg br so ph minus will attack at this cho and it will be converted to this 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 will be ph oh and one hydrogen will be there as well as here ph oh and one hydrogen here is a ch3 group now this two compound will show atrop isomerism atrop isomerism means the isomerism arises due to restricted rotation now here the rotation about this sigma bond is restrict restricted because the two group are quite bulky group and it will prevent the rotation about this sigma bond so this will show atrop isomerism and this whole compound will not remain in same plane so atrop isomerism shows optical activity if there is a uh, optical isomerism as there is no plane of symmetry of this compound now we have to determine that the number of possible stereoisomer obtained in the following reaction so here due to atrop isomerism two configuration can result that is either r or s let's say the compound is r now due to atrop isomerism it is r and also when the phenyl group attack at this cho this is also a chiral center and also this carbon is chiral carbon so this carbon may have either r configuration or s configuration and also this carbon may have either r or s configuration so due to atrop isomerism let's say the configuration is r and for this carbon this is r and for this carbon also this is r so one isomer may have configuration r r r now another configuration let's say this is r this is also r and this is this is s so the another is this and another combination will be this is r now let's say this is S and this is R and also the another combination is if this is S this is R this is R that is for atrop isomerism it is S so these are the four combination and we will get the enantiomer of this four so for RRR we will have another set that is SSS 
for R R S. We'll have another set S S R. For R S R, we'll have S R S. This is S R R. It is R S S. So these four and these four total eight. We'll get total eight two isomer for this compound. So guys, if you have any doubt regarding this video, please let me know in comment box. And to get such interesting videos, subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.